Cycling is about winning. If I'm not get on the podium or close to it or fighting for the win, I think I will stop. If you want to stay, you need to be constantly up there, constantly up to speed. It's hard to show up every weekend and like give it your best. Nothing is magic, nothing is luck. What's here is so crucial. And there is such a broad skill set that you, it's not just one thing, you need to be good at so many different things. Every time I can be there, and I'm going to give you more to give a turn to this tournament. In Enduro, it's a huge bit of respect between the riders. It's cool to be part of that and to feel that support from your rivals. Trans Montana, first time in Switzerland, Swiss Alps. The course was mainly in the upper part of the mountain, so it was quite a lot of altitude. We had rain, so slipper stages, and not a, an easy race, especially in the power stages. I was preparing myself, I think I noticed a great improvement. My state physical, I think. Mejoró bastante, eh, llegué muy motivado. The most value about the race is that I won almost every stage going down. You are second for 12 seconds. Yes, Florencia Espinera Herreros, the Orbea Fox Enduro team with the series leader plate. Okay, so just like that, we're back in Cran Montana for another vlog of racing. And guess what? We got some gnarly weather coming up next. But yeah, we are keen to do some laps. Let's go. Grand Montana was definitely an uh, exciting race, the one that I was looking forward to. And yeah, I think I did um, really good building into the week, like picking up the pace uh, every stage. Grand Montana was, uh, for me, uh, by far this season, the best race that I've had. I was feeling really good on and off the bike. I felt like the bike was working very well for that kind of terrain. It was flat out. I think I finished almost all the stages in second, uh, just behind Jack. He was just uh, a little bit above that weekend, but I was happy to, to be fighting for first place and podium and be consistently there. There are some results more painful than others, no? If you are 15, you know that you are far away. But if you are second, you are already lost from somebody, no? If you are fourth, you are out of the podium. I think these two results are the most painful, second and fourth. Switching team at the beginning of 2022 was a big move nine years after uh, my previous sponsors and then yeah it was just a massive learning curve. I feel like 
For the first season, we've achieved um, a few good things. I feel very happy about the change right now, and I feel like there is so much more that we can achieve in the future together. From Belgium. Practice day, day one. We talk this a lot of times, but uh, I think the main difference between top 10, top 20, top 30 guys would be just uh, mentally really good set. Racing has this special thing that you could be at your best, but if you're not able to deliver the result at the moment that is needed, you have nothing on your hands. Nobody is always up there without an issue, and I think that's why we all love that sport. I think the women field nowadays is the most competitive it ever been. Finally, it's the group that pushes you to be better. Uh, even though we compare times between each other, the main goal is to be a better rider than I was the day before. So thanks for all the girls that put the effort. When you are racing professionally, you also respect whoever is in front of you or behind you because he does the same thing, you know, he puts all those efforts. Jack Meyer is the new leader! Jack Meyer! There's been good battles with Martin last weekend, obviously good battles with Richie last year, and Jesse's right up there battling with Richie this year, so there's a big old battle going on. It's taken me nine years. <laughs> to get here. Uh, Martin definitely showed right from the beginning that, you know, he was a podium threat. I think uh, extremely positive. Uh, even though I didn't, uh, I didn't win this season, and to finish on the high is uh, the best feeling ever. Perfect. Let's celebrate! Let's go. <laughs> For the final round in finale next week. I just want to overcome the second place that has been following me the last three races. I finished in second, 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 so I just want to win. What's the plan today, Flo? Play it safe for overall or attack? It's a secret plan today. It's the fine line, you know, between going fast and just losing it. I think I'm gonna keep my control and go fast. There are narrow tracks. I think it's easy to fuck it up. So I won't. <laughs> I 
final he estado ahí luchando en el podio en algunas, si no muy cerca, poco, a muy pocos segundos. Me encontraba muy bien y de darle demasiado y tuve una caída, que fue lo que me hizo perder todo el tiempo. Pero bueno, así me mantuve en el podio de la general. No gané, pero estoy tan satisfecho con lo que, lo que he hecho yo y mi equipo y todo lo que, que me ayuda para poder estar aquí. I could take the win, it wasn't easy, it was a big day and uh, I finished the season finally taking a win. Uh, it took me <laughs> all season long to do it and winning also the overall. It's quite special for me to have all my family and my girlfriend here. We live separate all over the world so it's been a while since we got together everybody so yeah that, that made it uh, way more emotional for me to take the win and to be able to share it with my family and the ones I love. The results are the facts, but I would say that this growth of the team, where we start and how they are now like bodies, this I think is the most successful. And this I believe that will take us further also in the next seasons. So Martin, why is Trophy of Nation? What's all about? Trophy of Nation is a race by nation. Nice. And the accumulation of the three riders inside the team makes the overall. We have Gilles and Bart from Belgium. Sick. They are fucking weapon <laughs> and we're gonna smash this. <laughs> chilling, just chilling, just chilling. Oh, oh, oh no! Going hard, eh? Okay, there's a tag, I gotta go. Off season, it's always a time of the year that I really enjoy. Se va a montar una fiesta increíble aquí. O sea que yo creo que nos lo vamos a pasar bien en la carrera y, y después de ella también. Yeah.